17 BMW G310 R versus the world. With BMW's announcement that it will be producing a small displacement, single cylinder motorcycle, the G310 R, aimed at neuter riders and available come the latter stages of 2016, the German mark has signaled to everyone that it's aiming at world domination. That was clearly an attempt at humor. On paper anyway, BMW seems to have a formidable small displacement motorcycle on its hands with the G310 R. The problem it faces is a stacked field of competitors from Austria and Japan in the form of the KM 390 Duke, Suzuki GW 250Z, the pair of Hondas, the CB 300F and CB 500F and the not yet announced for America but probably will be soon Kawasaki Z300 and Yamaha Mount 03 likely to be called the FZ03 if slash when it comes here. The irony here, of course, is that none of these machines are manufactured in their OEM's home country, as global economics dictate these motorcycles be produced in up and coming markets, India, Thailand, China, and Indonesia in this case. So, with the small displacement, entry-level category heating up, let's take a look at all seven of these models to see how the BMW stacks up. Here we've gathered the relevant specs to draw some conclusions. Pricing has yet to be announced for the BMW and the Kawasaki and Yamaha have yet to even be announced for America but save for the CB500F, the sweet spot in this market is between $4,000, $5,000. Expect the G310R to slot in near the KDM at $4,999. The S1000R inspired G310R S313 CC single features two cam shafts and four valves, but its distinctive feature is its slightly rearward canted cylinder and reverse mounted cylinder head, placing the air intake towards the front of the motorcycle while the exhaust exits from the rear of the cylinder head, giving the header a more direct route towards the silencer. BMW claims 34 peak horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 21 pounds feet. That 7,500 rpm. When compared to the G310 RS closest likely rival, the KDM 390 Duke, the BMW falls slightly behind due to 60cc less displacement. Using the power numbers we obtained with the 390 Duke's close sibling, the RC390, we get 39.7 horses at 8,900 rpm and 24.6 pounds feet. That 7,000 rpm. At a claimed wet weight of 345 pounds, the Duke also has a 4 pounds weight advantage over the G3. That said, the two European brands have a lag of on the other five bikes here. Assuming power outputs for the Z300 and Mount 03 are similar to their fully fared counterparts, the Ninja 334.6 HP, 17.6 pounds feet, and YZFR 335.3 HP, 18.9 pounds feet, respectively. The two Japanese twin cylinders lack the torque of the BMW and KDM singles and carry at nearly 30 pounds. Weight penalty, both bikes claimed at 370 pounds. For comparison, the Ninja 300 tipped the Embo scales at 381 pounds, the R3 at 370 pounds. 30 pounds is a big burden to carry, especially when you're asking less than 40 horses to do it. Unsurprisingly, the CB500F Honda, with the largest displacement of the group, produces more power and toward 43.0 HP, 29.1 pounds feet, than the rest, but not by much. It's also the heaviest model here at 418 pounds. The 286cc CB300F single puts up the respectable 26.2 HP and 17.4 pounds feet and weighs in at 351 pounds, while the Suzuki brings up the rear with 19.2 HP, 13.7 pounds feet, and a 407 pounds. Curb weight. At 248 cc, 
The Suzuki has the smallest displacement here and is also the only one with single overhead cam. It should also be noted that the Suzuki is listed as a 2015 model and is not listed under Suzuki's 2016 lineup. As budget-minded motorcycles intended for new or newish riders, none of the seven model come with sophisticated suspension, though the BMW and KM again stand out from the crowd with inverted forks. Both as a certain element of sophistication and class to their respective model despite the overall low price point. Only the CB500F offers fork spring preload adjustability. Rear suspension is similarly basic, each offering a single shock only adjustable for spring preload. That said, in our time with the Duke, CB300-500, Ninja 300, and R3, all are capable of ripping up a canyon road at a rather respectable pace while still providing a decent ride everywhere else. There's no reason not to expect similar handling from the BMW. With its 25.1 brake and 4.0 inches of trail, the G310RH geometry is similar to the rest. The KDM, again, has a slightly sharper brake, 25.0, but so does Shimano 03. The Suzuki and Kawasaki have the laziest brake angles, 26.0. But the Z300 has the least amount of trail, 3.2 inches compared to the Ninja 300 S27 brake and 3.7 inch trail numbers, that's a rather steep difference. The BMW has the second shortest wheelbase at 54.1 inches bested only by the Duke's 53.8 inches so it should be poised to keep pace with the pack leading KM come the tight stuff. All seven bikes ride on 17-inch wheels, and all but the CB500 use 110mm wide front tires. The KDM and BMW use slightly fatter rear tires 150 versus 140 than the Japanese Roadsters, save for the CB500S160. Like the rest of the BMW model range, the G310 R will come standard with ABS. A major plus in our opinion. The KDM has such a feature as standard equipment, as do the Z300 and Mount 03. All seven model rely on a single disc at either end, with the BMW's front measuring 300 millimeters. It's clamped by a radial mount for piston caliper with gold anodizing. Steel braided lines are also standard. Those are trick features for any bike matched only by the KDM in this crowd, though the Austrian skips the gold anodization. The Japanese model features single front discs ranging in size from 290mm to 320mm and are all clamped by twin piston calipers. In our experience, we've been disappointed with the KDM's braking, favoring the braking power of the Japanese models instead. Our suspicion is a simple brake pad swap is all that's needed to bring the KDM in line with the others. On paper anyway, the BMW should be among the best in this group when it comes to sharing speed. When talking about bikes aimed at neuter riders, seat height is an important topic. At 30.9 inches, the G310R is within 0.2 inch of all the others except the 390 Duke and its 31.5 inch saddle. Should that be too high or too low, BMW has also made available accessory seats that either lower the seat height to 29.9 inches for shorties, or 32.0 inches for taller folk. Fully digital LCD gauge clusters provide the BMW. KDM and Honda riders with information, while the Suzuki, Kawasaki and Yamaha all feature an analog red counter. Gear position indicators on the BMW, KDM, Suzuki, and Yamaha get bonus points, especially for the price category these bikes reside in. In the end, there's no reason to believe the BMW G310R won't have what it takes to claim the crown among the small displacement naked bike field. Just look what it did in the litter class sport bike category. It observed the field and made an astounding and arguably better product at a competitive price. BMW appears to be following the same formula at the other end of the spectrum.
with the competition equally as fierce at this end of the field. Of course, comparing specs on paper can only tell you so much. We're looking forward to testing the BMW G310R against its rivals. Here's hoping the Kawasaki Z300 and Yamaha Mount 03 are able to join the party. Hover over the image below to see the complete spec chart for each bike. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.